Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. In Psalm 27, verse 14, David is talking, and he says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Did you know that one of the best things that you're going to ever accomplish for God will be to patiently wait on God? (laughs) <laughs> Did I just say that? Let's rewind it back. One of the best accomplishments in your Christian journey you're ever going to make for God is to patiently wait on God. It's true. It's all over scripture that one of the most faithful uh, or one of the most biggest challenges to your faithfulness will be waiting on God, waiting on God's timing, waiting on God's answer to your prayers. Uh, waiting on God to change the situation. So it's incumbent upon us not to just rush God, but to understand that one of the ways we please God is by waiting on his good timing to do things. Uh, Here in uh, Psalms, David was a man who would have known what it was like to wait. David had to wait to be recognized by his father. He had to wait to be uh, to not be tr- to try to be murdered by Saul. He had to wait to take the throne. He had to wait so much of his life, but in it, he learned that there's a sweetness in waiting on God. Because one of the things you learn when you start to wait on God is that when it finally comes to pass, you'll be thankful that God didn't bring it to you early because your character might not have been able to sustain what he had promised you. I don't know about you, but in my life, I've had to wait on so many things and I don't like it and I don't enjoy it. But as I look back over my life, I look at all the things God said, wait on. And I have no regrets because waiting on the Lord often brings its own rewards. I want to encourage you to wait well. It's going to be one of the best things you ever do for God is by waiting on God. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.